beginner class in this series or the intermediate class I suggest you watch one of those where I'll explain a little bit more about why we're doing this and what we're aiming to achieve so let's get started I'm presuming you're warmed up we're going to come to start in cross leg position if you have a block then great you can sit on it if you find it difficult to sit cross-legged you can use one of these if you're fine in cross-legged position that's absolutely fine I'm going to move this dog a little bit so I can actually get to the mat. Okay, so I'm going to sit on this block. So we're just going to come cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, just breathing. So thinking about all of our corrections, so lengthening here, relaxing through the shoulders, we're just going to stay here for a little minute. Just thinking about our breathing. It's really important when we're doing stretches to A, be warmed up. So don't stretch cold muscles. B, um, think about your breathing so it relaxes the muscles before you um, try and stretch them. Sometimes if you try and stretch them when they're really tight and resistant um, and tense, then they won't stretch. Okay, we're going to take left hand onto right knee and we're going to take our right hand behind us and we're going to stretch around. So take a little bit of a twist. Trying to relax this left leg. It might try and tighten a little bit. Okay, and then coming back to centre. And then we're going to go over the other side. So right hand comes onto left leg. Left hand comes behind you, twisting around. All the time lengthening up. You can sit on a cushion or a book if you don't have a block. Okay, and then back to centre. We're going to go one more, but we're going to cross our legs the other direction first. So, slightly odd coming into this, into this way. Okay, so we're going to stretch, take the um, le uh, left hand onto right leg and stretching around. Thinking about that breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And then back to centre, and we're going to take right hand onto left leg, twisting around. Okay, and then back to centre. Now you can either stay on your block or cushion, or you can remove it. We're going to just take legs nice and long. So sitting up nice and tall, flexing the feet because you'll get more stretch through the calves that way. Sitting up nice and tall. And then we're just going to stretch forward. So we're going to take hands forward, shoulders away from ears. Going a little bit further if you can, doesn't matter if you can't. Okay, we're going to come hands onto left leg. So just moving over to the left leg, trying not to squash the dog. I'm 
sometimes when you think that you're when you're stretching you think you can't go any further and then you actually can so just using that breathing to just stretch a little bit further Okay, we're going to come up, we're going to take the hands over to the right leg now, stretching down. Okay, we're going to come up. We're going to bring right leg. Now, if it's not comfortable to do this, you can do those two stretches again. If it is comfortable to do it, you're going to bring your right leg in. And you might not go very far with this stretch, but don't worry, that's absolutely fine. And then just stretching forward. So foot comes into that left thigh. And just stretching forward. Using that breathing. Okay, and then slowly coming up, we're going to go other side. So stretching out that right leg, bringing the left leg in. Okay, and stretching over that leg. And again, you might not go very far, but it is quite good with these stretches when we go left to right or you stretch the left side and then stretch the right side or vice versa to have a little feeling of an awareness of how it feels both sides does it feel the same are you consistently tighter one side does it change you know just so you can build up a little bit of a picture and whether that correlates to when you're on your horse Okay, and then slowly coming up, we're going to take feet together, take hands onto feet, and we're going to stretch forward like that. And again, you might not find that you get very far, that's absolutely fine. So you should be feeling a stretch in the groin here, but again, you might feel a stretch a little bit um, in a different place, that's fine. Just using your breathing just to relax those muscles. If you don't feel like there's enough stretch, you can bring your heels a little bit closer to your seat bones. into a hip flexor stretch. So we're going to just come, let's do left leg first. Mac, move. Okay, we're going to have to bring left leg, <laughs> left leg forward. And again, you can use blocks or cushions or um, books if you need to, if you find that it's a little bit too much to go too low like that to have your hands down. So that's up to you there. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle just so that it's nicely supported and it's not falling out to the left and it's not falling out to the right. Make sure your pelvis is nice and square along the mat. And you should feel a stretch in the front of your right side of your pelvis. So 
just breathing. Shoulders are away from ears, core muscles are still working. If it becomes uncomfortable on your knee, the knee that is down on the ground, you can either double your mat over or you can put a cushion underneath it if it's a little bit more comfortable. Okay, now before we go into the other side, we're going to stretch back. So we're just going to rock back and we're going to flex that left foot. So now you should feel a stretch through hamstring and calf. lower if you need to. Okay, we're going to do one more change before we go over onto the other side. We're going to just bring that left leg to the side a little bit. So we're going to bend the knee and bring your left foot to the right a little bit. Pigeon. So this is a stretch where we stretch all through this left side of your pelvis. And again, shoulders away from the ears. Just breathing. If you need to in this position, you can put a block or a cushion underneath pelvis, underneath that left side, just to support it a little bit. If you're particularly tight through the pelvis, which a lot of riders tend to be. So by stretching these muscles um, and all of the other exercises combined that we do, like the core exercises and the mobilization and balance exercises, we're just improving that function of the pelvis in the saddle. So the better the a muscles function in the um, pelvis and uh, when you're riding, um, the more deep your seat is going to be. relaxed your leg is going to be and the longer that leg position um, is going to get. Okay, we can go a little bit lower here if you want to. And you can even take arms long out in front of you if you want to. Okay, so coming up, and we're going to do the other side now. So just stretching back, bringing that left leg back. You can come into shell for a little minute just to stretch out again. Just have a little rock from side to side. These are quite deep stretches, so take your time with them and make sure you just ease off afterwards. Okay, we're going to bring a right leg forward now. So stretching that left leg back and again use your blocks for your hands if you want to make sure the pelvis is nice and square onto the mat make sure your knee is nicely supported so you should be feeling a stretch in the front of the left side of the pelvis But again, you might find it in different places as well. Like I can feel a bit of a stretch through the right inner thigh here. Just gently drawing the core muscles in. And then 
we're going to slowly rock back to stretch the hamstrings of calf. So with rocking back, we're going to flex that right foot. Breathing. Try not to rock back too much onto the left side, so stay square. Okay, we're going to come down into pigeon. So we're going to take, we're going to bend that right knee and push the dog out of the way. Okay, so right foot comes a little bit to the left. And again, you can use blocks here. It's quite nice just to um, just raise your hands up a little bit if you find it a little bit tight. Or you can use your block to just tuck under that side of the pelvis as a little bit of support. Using the core muscles. Using your breathing just to relax anything that's tightening and tensing. You can come a little bit lower if you want to. Draw down onto the forearms. You'll feel a little bit more of a deep stretch there, maybe. And like I say, you can even stretch your arms out in front of you if you want to. breathing and then we're just going to come up onto our hands release the block if you've used a block there and rock back into shell position and have a little bit of a stretch And then we're going to take knees a little bit wider, feet are going to stay together, and then stretch down into shell from there. Just a little bit of a different stretch. And slowly coming up, coming up to either kneeling or cross legged, and we're going to finish there. So, there you have it a few stretches, just simple stretches, just to help with your creating a deeper seat and a longer leg position.